I, I kind of do, but not just, not to the just, level. Just aqua jet. It's fine. It's fine. You just aqua jet, and then you drill pack when they're up close. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So, common going breaks in here. Let's have his usual Charizard. Boom. As a plate. <laughs> Bam. Bam. All right. Go with the Fennekin. Mm -hmm. No, you will. No, I, I think mean, I think the Emolga is probably the better choice here. It is the better choice, but that's how. But this is Pecano. Mm -hmm. He always. He, I've barely ever seen him go. Not go Fennekin. Yeah. All right. So starting off here, um, he Heavy Boy trying to find opportunity using Defog, trying to get himself in. It's not going to really help him in this field phase. All right. Nice forward. He does one. get the forward wire for the phase change. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to be playing the patient game, looking for buttons here. Not. Asserting himself too much, getting himself in a risky situation because Napoleon's lackluster frame day could get him in a bad situation. Oh, he didn't go for a reset. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man, oh. autocorrect not working. That was a weird autocorrect. He right. does get grabbed for it. Uh, how, he did get a lot of damage overall, so I, I, I think that's okay. That's worth it. Like, oh, yeah. Do the stuff he took for it. Ooh, going for the mix up with the surf. Yep, he only did the level two, so it wasn't going to confirm and he probably their shield. Okay, so now we're kind of putting Heavy Boy into the blender now. Yep. Bad situation for him. Nice default. Now, wow, that, yeah, that was really good. Ooh, I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I don't agree with that. It's Magius. He did get the attack buff, thankfully. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of the not important part. That, that attack no, buff's yeah. going to be gone. It's Magius, in a it's, I mean, it's Magius herself is very important. Much more important than the attack buff. Like, you don't even get it for like five seconds, or even six seconds. I like, he keeps using me. lights, but it's working out. Oh, uh, man. Aqua Jet is light. Yeah, even if he did land that, he probably would have gotten armored through. And yep. Kyle pretty much had that in the bag. Could have just countered it anytime you mm -hmm. wanted to. Man, it really unfortunate how Heavyboy um lost that one mix up and just couldn't get his advantage going. That's kind of the thing with Empoleon that if he loses advantage, he um he's really in a bad situation. Oh yeah. He has to like restart from the beginning. That's an interesting miss, that's a good mismatch right there, because yeah, it intercepts his combo there. Ooh! Alright. Oh yeah, he didn't know what Making to do out of that. space. Okay, that's an interesting option. Lots of interesting options going on here. Very interesting. Right. He's trying to he's trying to see what he can catch. Yeah, he's, he's not sure about it. Oh, okay. he oh, got right. this is a cool now. combo. This is a cool combo. Ooh, wham! Bam! There Love we it. go. Nice. And with that cool cross defog. Yeah, that was good. All right, so now he's got burst. I don't even think he really needs it right now. I think he should have held on to it, but it's okay. Yep. Probably should have held on to it when he was around half health, just in case Picano kind of got a little bit, got a little bit more. Kano's be really scared. If he gets it by anything, it's gonna be an aqua jet confirm. Ooh. Yep. That would have been a oh oh man yep. Gives him a little more room to work with. He's right. about at a burst though. Kana's getting mm. up there on his. Yeah. Still right. Kana just one hit away. One Ms. Magius. Don't. Oh okay. Oh. Uh, it barely. Whoa, didn't that work. was a really delayed bump. Yeah, like he didn't hit his shield and he still bumped. He bumped the, the wall. wall. The thing and it was really delayed. There we go. Okay. Heavyweight got the one hit he needed. That was really weird. He didn't hit Brakeson's shield. Which he was closer to, but he still mm -hmm. banged up against yeah, the wall. Yeah, that was really weird. Cause I, I was more so confused because it was like really delayed. But it might have been just like it pushed her out of the way and it didn't really hit her, but he still got anyway. the. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of interested in um, Heavy Boy's choice in Miss Magius. Like I personally don't think Miss Magius is a great choice against um, Brakeson because Brakeson can overall kind of wait out Miss Magius and sit back yeah. and ignore it. But he's using it in a way that. Um, he forces his own approach, basically. Mm -hmm. He's it, it shows that like because he likes to go back and forth on zoning mm -hmm. and getting in close. Yeah. Which Empoleon can do. Mm -hmm. Empoleon's oh, JY oh, is super good. Yeah. He just went around that fire spin. Fennekin, he's gonna be able to avoid that. Yep. Uh, That's punishable. Probably didn't see it close enough. It <laughs> just barely jumps the ADAX. That was really cool. Right, Puzzle against against the wall. He's Ugh. reset on the PSP. This is a bad situation. He'd press That's a button. a button. Yep, that is a button press. All right. Ah, uh, it's gonna be put right in the field where he doesn't want to be. He really doesn't want to be here right now. That Miss Magus is really not gonna help him. Bring us for the rest of this match. He's gonna yeah. get to the health deficit. He has to win this field phase in order to stay. He has to. Yeah, he needs to get this. He's not gonna get burst if he loses. If he loses it, oh. even if he loses. That's a risky Miss Mag. Uh, yeah, yep. that's the thing, because Brazen can just put on that pressure, and yeah. Empoleon doesn't have enough time in the gaps to get anything out, really. Yeah, and like with, the, how, with how slow Miss Magius goes, he was just able mm -hmm. to time when he was able to, mm -hmm. he should, what, what he wanted to throw mm -hmm. out, and then just shield when he needed yeah, to. Yeah, I think he should have just shielded or CADC'd until Miss Magius got in his face so he could get a second to breathe, so yep. he could get his advantage going. And he tried challenging it, thinking that mm -hmm. he was probably just going to get too scared and probably yeah. shield it. Alright, we're but, getting a change, probably to Gengar, uh, um, or support change. Probably Gengar. Um, I think Gengar does okay in this matchup. Okay, yeah. so because Gengar can go under a lot of stuff in field. Oh yeah, which is a big benefit. And and dual. Mm -hmm. 
because he goes under all the JY all the JY fireballs in low mm. stance, even like the lowest one you can get. Breaks him, right? Yeah, uh, pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Other than that, or he can just permeate straight through him. Exactly. And I feel like Heavy Boy just knows this. He just knows this character more, so he may be, he may be able to Might have be better fundamentals. A also. comfort pick, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so lots of patient yeah. play, just waiting for an opportunity. I'm going to reset. He actually got that interface. Very patient stuff from everybody, not something we usually see from him. Okay. Exactly. All right, so it is kind of night and day with him, on, yeah. uh, with these two characters. All right, but he's going to realize Gengar is going to be a lot more squishy than Polion is, so he's yeah. going to have to be a little bit more careful. I could have permeated through most of that, taking most of the damage off of him. Mm -hmm. but he can't commit to that counter. He did go under the boomerang, that was really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so he's running Mew now. It's an interesting choice. If he can nail, be able to have time to proc Ooh. it, he can get a lot of damage off. I think um, Sir Spud taught him that, because Sir Spud has been using Mew for Gengar. Mm -hmm. So I think he picked that up from Sir Spud. It's a really good choice for Gengar. Alright, Ooh, nice combo there. Game back in the game. Oh, yeah. with, with a nice JY conversion, too, ending, because he ended with um, Scooby. Yep. Down to 13 health now. Yeah. With the crit now, he is looking a little bit scary now. He just Kano he still is, has to know when to Kano does not know when to when to act here. Oh he wow! He got the vulnerable frame. That mm -hmm. was super impressive from Heavy Boy there. Mm -hmm. That was kind of like the only option he had. Like normally, like in that situation, um, it'd be better like to go with Curse because that'd probably be better at catching vulnerable frames. But however, Curse can't kill, so he had yeah. to go for something else. But it does give a lot of synergy. Mm -hmm. so. He, he almost has synergy anyway, and maybe he wanted to like not have it just in case he got a shield break early on. Nice punch on the Fennekin. Go with the Scooby combo. Into the field phase. Get the wall splat. Alright. It's definitely looking a lot better it's for the Heavy Boy. Frame. Oh, oh wow, God. okay. Oh, no conversion from Picano. Yeah, he didn't expect it to hit. Alright. Ooh, Kano gets a lot of distance now. He keeps him at midfield. Alright. Heavy Boy just really has to be good. Yeah, he kind of panicked a little bit there, trying to yeah, approach. Doing a bit of a panic burst here. Oh, he does jump that's that. a panic. That's a panic burst I've seen one. Yep, that's a nice punish. Go. Ooh. There we go. That's some damage. Excellent conversion. Nice Oki okay, get up on get up. Oh, God. That, ju that, that jump axe is oh, super good. Kyle keeps jumping. And, oh, and he got it. Oh, look at that. And oh, going for the punch. He didn't even want to burst. This is like, I didn't want Not to worth it. He doesn't like doing burst. You notice that? I mean, because he didn't, he doesn't do it from Polion, even in friendly. Well, I mean, um, Bakano was being very jump heavy there. That's and like, I would have confirmed. Mm, yeah, but it, it, it's whatever. It would have lasted longer, wasted our time. I don't um, want to give him time to calm down though. <laughs> nah, no, that heavy boy doesn't need to calm down. Uh, you he's know going what I am. in now. I have a map. All right, no change from Bakano. Usually, he's a, character, a person who likes to switch a lot. So I don't know if he likes the Charizard map, mm. the matchup with Gengar with Charizard though. I mean, you deal half his health in one. One, one, that, so. <laughs> one mm. But, the kind of, mm -hmm. he doesn't use seismic toss as much as mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and also, uh, using taller characters against Gengar can be a bit um, troublesome because yeah. um, JY, very similar to the uh, um you can just cross over JY basically for free against tall characters. Can you can go under Fire Punch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I thought, yeah. It's probably also what he was thinking about. Mm -hmm. There's a lot less stuff Gengar can go under with breaks in. All right. All right. Nice, nice. Nice wall combo. All Reset right. opportunity. What's it going to be? Nice, oh! safe options here. Ooh, getting nicked by the flamethrower there. Right. Everybody trying to find uh, an opportunity here. Risk a lot of HP taking that hit. Trying to go for the vulnerable frame there. He risked a little mm -hmm. bit too much there. Yeah. This, yep. this, that. Oh, wow, he got it. He oh, jeez. I didn't even realize he got okay. there. Okay, this has changed drastically here. Uh, and that's yep. it. Yep. Wow. You have to be really careful of that counter. You um, really have to be careful. The thing is, um, Gengar does have a lot of ways around it. Like, if he goes for things like um, Scooby, um, because it's jump cancelable, if you jump just straight up, you'll usually avoid the counter. So he can, he yeah. can play around. He has options, too. He really needs to oh, utilize that Curse. Oh, still hit. He really needs to utilize Curse. I don't know. Kano's very, he can get very counter-heavy with breaks. And, and, like, Curse pretty much just... Like, if you're not even a second, or like, if you do it just barely after they saw Oh, Kano is not scared of this person no. at all. He's going straight into it. Wow. He hasn't taken a single hit of damage, and he is really putting the hurt on Heavy Boy. This yeah. is, um, match point for, um, Picano, so. Yeah, it is. Heavy Boy needs to make something happen here, but he is first Gengar. Yep. 
Mm, I would have expected more lasers. Mm -hmm. You guys get hit by it. Oh. He does keep himself safe from getting comboed. So yeah, that was but he, did, he did waste a lot of time in this field, not being able to get any advantage going. That's a lot of I damage. I thought he was just walking. <laughs> Oh, and it goes under. Big. That was good. Alright, and the burst is over. Mm, that hard projectile going through that side beam. Heavy's gonna have a bit of a hard yeah, time making this work out. But he's chipping away ever so Ooh. slightly, but now he's in this one more combo, and oh, that's the fire, it. Pun, the fire spin got him. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> we just heard Heavy just go, ah! Off. Ah, I whipped too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a close game. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, I think Heavy. Um, Got a little bit too aggressive for his own good. He yeah. wasn't doing the right aggressive options. Like I said, if he kept doing Scooby, um, he wouldn't have to be so afraid of that burst, uh, that counter, because he yeah. would just jump straight up and avoid it. But I don't blame him. Like he, aggre he that aggressive play really did help him. Yeah, I will course. say I think the switch to Gengar was a, a good choice for him. It was. I think it worked out for him really well, really, really well. And he can be offensive mm -hmm. when need be. Like he's not bad at it. Mm -hmm. It's and worked for him. Yeah, that was. All right, that was a good game to start 